I'm Andy Stevenson from MyMMANews.com and today I'm joined by the champ, Sam Marai Creasy. How are you doing today, Sam? Hi, Andy. I am, I'm very well, thank you. So, Sam, you're, you're taking on Luke Shanks in a, in a rematch this coming Saturday, the 11th of December. Co-main event of Cage Wars 132. It was the main event, wasn't it, previously? Oh, I'm not... I'm not sure actually, to be quite honest. I, know, you have to have I a knew we were fighting for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing anyway? So you're you're in the hotel room now. Fight week is underway. Uh, what's it going like for you? Yeah, we're in a hotel now. Arrived last night. A few media obligations to uh, to get through and stuff, and uh, pretty much just chill out. <sighs> Let the time pass, and uh, we cut the weight in the morning. Get hydrated again, and. Uh, like to have some fun on Saturday. And how do you usually relax on, on fight week in the hotel? Like it's, it's, it seems like a very bizarre process in general. Um, it's, it's changed over time. I think with COVID, it's actually probably helped a little bit. Um, being that we're in a hotel for a, a longer period of time, I've, I brought a uh, PlayStation. I got uh, Netflix and um, some other apps on that. And I can just kind of zone out with some stuff in the background. Stick some music on, maybe read a book or something, and kind of just let let the time pass and stay calm and relaxed as possible until we go crazy on Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. Like, you you come across as a very stoic person. Um, I remember watching the, I think it was the Cage Warriors production that they put out prior to your last fight, and you know you're kind of just chilling, classical music on. Like, how do you how do you manage that kind of uh, I guess mindset shift from like the the peaceful monk to uh, to the violent warrior come fight night? Um, you know, it's, it's probably just changed as I've, as I've got older, I think. I'm, I'm, I've not been doing martial arts for very long, to be quite honest. I'm quite new in that world almost, and I've had to learn a lot the wrong way <laughs> with some bad experiences. And um, I find uh, the more engrossed I get in it, the, the calmer, the more peaceful I am. And, you know, a, a fight to me now. There's never any ill will. Even, even the prospect of violence is it's a very it's a very short term thing that we're going to go to battle for. And then afterwards, I can I can only wish you the best of health. You know, does like do you have to kind of consciously? Is there a switch that you have to almost like turn on and, and turn off come fight night? Uh, occasionally. I find sometimes I'm too relaxed. I, I can get get caught in fights where I'm kind of just in my flow almost. Um, but it's competition, right? Everybody makes a big deal of it being a fight. And in your head, it becomes this really big, significant thing. But reality is it's just another competition. It's a body in front of you. You're going to fight. As long as you're healthy and happy tomorrow, we're all good. And I want to talk to, to you about the fight and, and, and the last fight. So as I mentioned in, in kind of the introduction, Cage Warriors flyweight champion Sam Creasy, you know, you, the, uh, finally, after three, <coughs> three attempts, you, you are the champion. You, you, it was a great fight last time out against Luke Shanks and, and obviously the rematch is taking place this Saturday. What were the emotions like for you? I know um, in your post-fight interview with Edith LaBelle, you know, it, it was very emotional, but now that a couple of months have passed, you know, what are the emotions like for you of finally becoming champion, you know, after after stumbling on a couple of hurdles previously? Um, to be honest, like I was speaking previously, it's, it's literally, it's just another fight. It, it's a nice accolade and it does feel great to have achieved something that I've tried hard for previously and I've come up short on options. So it felt nice to get the belt, but the reality is, it's another fight. And then I look forward onto the next competition, which is what I've always done. The the last fight, obviously, it was it was a great fight and, and a great win. However, uh, there was a bit of controversy after. I'm seeing videos online and, and, and Luke Shanks is, is, you know, saying that you tapped uh, to a, a gear, or a, an arm bar, sorry, rather, in the, in the first round. And there's, you know, I feel like I've seen this thing from every single angle now. There's, there's so many screenshots and, and videos floating around. So I, I have to ask the question, did you tap in the first fight? No, 100% I did not. But Luke's opinion is that I did. And 
he believes that he let go of the arm because he believes that I did. So that's what, that's pretty much why we've got to do this again. There is no there's no real like hiding from the fact that if he believes that has happened, I believe like, as a martial artist that we need to do this fight again. Is it, I know you, you put up a, a quote, I can't remember the exact quote now on your Instagram about basically, uh, you know, a win with doubt uh, kind of shrouding it is uh, is no honourable. I don't know if you were, used the word honourable, but is no win at all. It was something like that. I can't yes. remember the exact quote. Is it important for you, you know, is it, is it, is it important to you to, you know, put a stamp on it this time and, and, and leave no question in anyone's minds that you are the rightful champ um, and that there's no excuses? Yeah, I believe so. I believe that's the same for both of us. To be quite honest, it's it's a very, it's a very difficult kind of situation. But you know, uh, like I like I said in that quote, it a victory that is shrouded in doubt doesn't feel like a victory at all. You know, so we must go back. We must do this again to put it to bed, shake hands afterwards, and that be the end of it. I imagine like it, it, it was obviously a very emotional, uh, you know, achievement for you because having fallen short, you know, twice before and, and finally getting that, that win and becoming champion, did the, the controversy, does it take away that from a little bit from, from your win, from, in, from your perspective? Uh, yes and no. Uh, yes in like, if there's doubt, I, still, I don't feel like that victory is a clean victory. If you understand what I mean? Mm. I, want, I want that victory to be stamped upon, my hand raised, to show everybody I'm a world champion. You know, I don't want that controversy shrouding the fight. Have you and Luke, I know that, that you and Luke have, have trained together before and, you know, like you're, you're as far as opponents go, you're pretty close. Um, have you guys talked about it at all since since uh, the last fight? Like, have, have you kind of had any private discussions where, you're, you know, you, obviously you say I didn't tap, he says you did. Has there been any back and forth? Uh, not really about what happened, to be quite honest. We had a small conversation uh, through messages, which was basically, we do this again, you know. I've got no ill will towards you. I know you're a good man and... You know, you know, I'm an honourable guy. I'm, we're going to do this again. I, I saw him this morning. We shook hands. There's no issue on my part, really, and I don't believe so on his part either, really. The the first fight was a fantastic display for the fans. It was back and forth. You know, you you both had um, mm -hmm. your periods of success, and, and ultimately you got the win. In the second round, I believe it was the commentators. You know, your your nose was busted up, and they're saying, "Oh, it's broken." Was it? Did your nose break in the in the fight? Well, the doctor told me no. Okay. It's been making a lot of noises since. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit halfway across my face. But to be honest, I've taken a lot of shots and sparring since then. It's held up pretty well. I think it possibly is a fracture, but you know, should see. Maybe you can give me a left hook this time and maybe move it across the other way and straighten up again. <laughs> yeah, I, I could do it when I was as well. I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you know you're obviously familiar with each other going into the fight, but from, you know, sparring and fighting are different things. Did you learn anything about uh, Luke Shanks in the fight? Mm, it's, it's hard to say. Like, those, those moments in the fight are so high adrenaline moments that that's probably a version of him. And I can definitely tell you that's a version of me that's fighting in there the last time around. Now, what's going to happen this time around is probably completely different. You know, we'll both be a little bit more relaxed, perhaps, and able to express ourselves a little bit more cleanly. But it's, I don't see anything of his game that's going to be particularly different, just a better version of him coming in. And hopefully the same with me. 
is it a different feeling coming into this fight? The, the last fight was, you know, the last uh, the, the last fight of the last trilogy of the year, you know, a big spot um, in the Cage Warriors schedule. Uh, additionally, as I've said multiple times in this interview, and I'm sure you're sick of uh, people saying, you know, th- the third time of asking, there was a lot of pressure on you then. Is there less pressure coming into this fight? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, the pressure is all, you know, in your head, pretty much. I've I've had opportunities before, but again, they were just fights. You know, you 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 make it so much more of a big deal within your head and the people around you. So I don't think there's the pressure has really changed. It's just how you how you think about it inter, etern, internally. <laughs> Well, n- not to add more pressure, but um, on Saturday night, mm. you'll have the opportunity to become the first Cage Warriors flyweight champion to successfully defend the belt, uh, you know, going all the way back to when Neil Seary first won it. And, you know, obviously Shanks was a champion before, Hadley, Grayson. Um, no one has ever successfully defended this belt. They've either vacated or been stripped or lost. Is that Does that kind of give you a little bit of extra motivation? Like, would that be a nice, um, a, a nice achievement to have on uh, under your belt? I mean, it would. It would, of course. It'd be something to add as an accolade. But, like, Luke is going to be in there trying to take my head off from the start to finish. So <laughs> I need to concentrate on him first. And, you know, what happens, happens. I believe in my ability. He believes in his. The better man will come out on top of the day. And, Sam, you're on an incredible run at the moment. Uh, you know, a, a great win streak and... If you win on Saturday night, you'll have you'll have won the title and defended it successfully. As I said, the, the first person ever to do so. Are you looking at the UFC as your next protocol? I would like to think that if uh, everything goes to plan, that I get a call. But you know, like I said before, I've got to fight Luke first. I need to take him out win the title again and make sure everybody knows I'm the champion. If the UFC comes calling, you know, I I can only be grateful. Have there ever been any discussions before with the UFC? So I know, like, obviously, Mohamed Mokhaev has been uh, been signed recently. Jake Hadley has been signed recently. The UK flyweights are, you know, they're getting signed to the UFC. Has there been any discussions with you and your team uh, with the brass uh, in the organisation previously? Uh, Well, I, I... I don't have uh, math, so I just kind of like roll along by myself at the minute, to be quite honest. Um, so I've always tried to put the feelers out there a little bit, but you know, like for me, I'm always just looking to competition. Who's next? Who can I beat? If I'm beating these people, right, eyes are upon me. People are going to know about me. Then the discussions can maybe happen. I haven't spoken to the UFC previously. And then, so let's let's jump back to this fight. Let's not look ahead. Um, mm-hmm. How do you see the fight playing out on, on Saturday night? Um, I don't think either of us are going to get a sub. I don't think either of us are going to get a, a finish in the fight. I expect him to be there at the end of five rounds. Me too. Blood soaked and uh, my hand raised. The champion, Samurai Creasy, I really appreciate the, you taking the time to speak to us today. Best of luck with the, uh, the weight cut. Uh, and I can't wait to watch the fight on Saturday night. Appreciate the time, Sam. Thanks very much, Sam. Cheers, mate.